But they're they're naked people, but they're they're good looking naked people. Well, today we are at Crossroads Antiques in Hagerstown, Maryland, and it's been a while <laughs> since I was here last. So we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, we're gonna start right here with this footed vase, $162. Oh my gosh, look at the little cute feet on that. It's got toes. I just don't know if I could pay that for it. Ah, so tempting, you guys know I collect those things. Um, this is 75 on the carnival glass, and then a whole collection of paperweights for five dollars. Mm, that's kind of nice. This is oh, rookwood. <laughs> no wonder why it looks nice. Yeah, that's the rookwood mark on the bottom. What in the world is that thing? <laughs> what is that made out of? It's like mache. Mache rabbit. Oh, that's so funny looking. <laughs> I gotta like it. All right, let's see what we've got over here. Because I was noticing these beautiful vases. Venetian art class vases, 150 for the pair. What is this? Some sort of ducks. I think those are mandarin ducks. $145 for the set. Let's see what we have here. Art glass fish. I like this. There is a very worn sticker. They have 25 on that. <laughs> I think the little pieces of cane are what makes that, honestly. Here. What is this? Lone Star Creation, Silver Spring, Maryland, Horse Planter. What is this? Skull glass. That would look neat with a tea light or something inside. Oh my gosh. Solamine plates. I love these plates. Like, I have this ridiculous obsession with them. They're kind of like the Italian version of the Dead Empire. <laughs> because they all have different creatures on them. Um, I have some listed right now that have carousel horses on them. Um, they're, they're asking 40 bucks a piece. I'm not really sure I could do that for resale, but I love coming across these because they're just so neat. Here you've got cows, bunnies, 40 bucks a piece and a fish. At first I thought that the swan was glass, but now I'm realizing that it is ceramic. Here's a parrot. They have that as Murano. I don't know. He does have some nice um, balance in this Merso technique. Here is a Fenton shoe. And what I like about this shoe is that it has the coralline texture on it. $14 on the shoe. That's interesting. What is that? This does not come off. It just wobbles, which makes me nervous. <laughs> that mannequin is totally freaking me out. Twice I looked over and I was like, no, it's a mannequin. No, it's a mannequin. It's a very lifelike mannequin. I feel like the eyes are just going to shift and suddenly be looking at me. And it's creeping me out. Yeah, she's definitely scary. It appears as though this booth has done some rearranging. I don't remember these shelves being here the last time I visited. And it was a while ago when I visited last. I think, if I remember correctly, that they actually seem to specialize in stangle. They have a ton of stangle in their booth. Among other things. Those are beautiful. Tall vase. Blue white, $89. Kind of looks like, like a starry night pattern, but there's no markings on it. It does have remnants of a sticker on it. What do they have on this? 65 on that. I like this carnival. Look at how iridescent that is. $69 on that one. The iridescence on these peacocks are 
is very heavy as well. 195 on that peacock urn pattern. Wow, I remember this booth being super cluttered. I don't think I even could walk into it the last time I was here, but now they've got it all cleaned up. Trust me though, I'm all for a cluttered booth. This booth is primarily cameras now. There are a few Jim Shores in there. The Disney ones too. This is where I like to look for treasures. This looks like that Israeli glass. I think this is actually made in New Jersey though. They call it Art Nouveau glass. Who are these weirdos? Twenty dollars. <laughs> what is that? Is that a horn? Switzerland handwork. Where is it marked? It says Luzerner. L Luzerner. <laughs> Twenty bucks. It does say they are running a sale, but this obviously does not have a sale tag on it. Twenty dollars. Take the weirdos for twenty. That glass right there is very nice, and it's signed. I have to get a a key for this case though. Forty dollars on that. Just scoping it out at the moment, but then I'm gonna go in there and buy a bunch of stuff. Now this here, I've had this one before, uh, and it's made to look like a Dom perfume bottle, but this is the version that isn't Dom. I think the Dom one has a different stopper on it. I showed it in a video and a lot of you had suggested, not Dom, what am I saying? Lalique. Um, a lot of you had suggested that it was Lalique, uh, but I was looking at the actual Lalique versions and they have a different stopper. There is a very light base for $25. Is this thing oh it's one of those there was actually one of those in the hoarder house that we cleaned out a lot of you have been asking what's happened with the hoarder house um, and I'm afraid I, I can't really say <laughs> what's happened with the hoarder house but um, I'm, I'm respecting the privacy of Gus and Nina but we probably will not be going back to bring any resolution to that which is unfortunate uh, but we did have a good time while we were there that is a stunning swirl bowl. Okay, are we ready for a key yet? Because I'm gonna go crazy. As crazy as it is, I even like this bottle with the cording seat on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a nice set. Oh my gosh, look at that one in the back. That's crazy. Have we looked at that before? I'm having a moment of deja vu. I remember looking at a cracked plate when we were here, but I could have swore that it had roosters on it and not a peacock. This one has a peacock on it. I've never seen that pattern before. Okay, well before I leave, I'm going to come back here with a key and get a bunch of stuff. For now, I'm just gonna keep shopping. 10% off everything over $10. <laughs> so I was walking past and noticed that this is still up here. I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point there were two of them and I bought the one because it was easier to ship and I left this one behind and I thought for sure this one would have been gone by now, but here it is. Now it does have a repair there, I want 58 and that would be 10% off. I think I'll take it with me. Oh my, look at this, some uh, rose medallion in there. They look to be more contemporary, at least the front one does, just because the colors are so vibrant on it. Kaiser, down there. I love this in the back. I feel like I looked at that the last time though. Here are all of the Windy Meadows houses. Um, you probably already saw the video, but, or maybe you haven't. 
I recently picked one of these up at Goodwill and the edge of the roof was damaged. That seems to be so common with those just because the way that they kind of hang off at an angle, they're, they're prone to damage, which is such a shame. Well, here is a lovely vintage booth in the corner. Looks like this is sold. That's a neat piece of furniture. Oh my gosh, the old catalogs. Back when I was a kid and we went to the library, we still had these catalog things. <laughs> I remember being trained how to use the card catalog. Nowadays, Ashton and Juliet would be like, the what? <laughs> this is amazing. Textured scene wall hanging 300. Oh my goodness, I love that. I feel like we had one similar over at our booth in Carlisle and Duke Mall, but I have no idea where it ended up. That is super fun. All right, I'm gonna push the little cart through here. Probably should have left it out in the aisle, to be honest. There's some art glass. That one looks like it could be Murano. This one as well. I don't know, the bottom is a little bit more cloudy. This in the back, I'm gonna move this out of the way. This looks like it might want to be Mipitosi. Germany, yeah, the way it's incised like that, I would say that it is very similar, but not quite there. Marvin Bailey. The glaze on that is nice. What in the world is this? Acrylic paperweight with lemon. Oh, I love this. It's a mustache cup. Birds hand painted on it. Well, I've only got two things in my basket so far. I have yet to get the key for um, that big case. But I'm gonna head down to this last row and head down that direction. And then today we might have time for the other side of the mall, which I seem to neglect on a regular basis. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's adorable. The Evil of Frankenstein. What is that? $225. That's kind of neat. And then the trench art lamp. $250. I vaguely recall taking a photo of this and sending it to Andrew. postcard is still here. I love that stupid thing. <laughs> Goodness, take a peek at that for 75 That is stunning. Ooh, you'll have to get in here and get that out. Let's see what else they're hiding in here. I found some pretty decent um, glass in here in the past. That Rosaline uh, Jack in the Pulpit there is real nice. I can't quite see the price on it though. So I may have to ask to get in there to see the price. I was getting ready to leave this booth and spotted this. That is a massive Murano bowl. My gosh, $55. That's like a family ashtray, not just a single ashtray. <laughs> okay, you're coming with me. And these are really neat. Those are Italy. 150 for the pair, but they're they're naked people, but they're they're good looking naked people. Hmm. Oh my gosh! I just looked up and I saw that Reglore lamp. With the original shade, $650. Oh, original shade and finial. It's fantastic. I actually restored one of those um, early on when I was buying it and selling. The paint was real chipped off and I repainted it and sanded it and filled a few chips. It was a whole thing, but um, they've got $650 on that. Now that I've emptied my card, I'm going to get a closer look at these guys. 
seems they have some age. So my concern is the chipping up here. And just how naked are these people? Looks like it's just butts. <laughs> I think I can handle butts. I think I'm gonna grab these. I love looking at the gym shore in this booth. Check out this cat. How much is this? $150. Like I've never really been attracted to gym shore. Like I like it for resale, but it's never really been my thing. But this cat is totally speaking to me. That is amazing. If I was to buy gym shore and start a collection, this would be the gateway. Followed closely by the Grinch and all of the witch friends. Blow molds. Goodness. The colors on that one are really vibrant orange. I literally just saw one of these at Goodwill. And I thought maybe I should grab that, but then I was like, I can't look it up anyway because I don't have a signal. I probably should have grabbed it. Here's a giant Mickey gym shore and look at Taz inside of a pumpkin. <laughs> so much fun. This is another one, another cat, this one on top of a pumpkin. $159.99, very rare. Is it two piece? No, I was just wondering because it has that right there. God, it's so great. I kind of like the looks of that. What is that? Japanese vase hand painted with florals and butterflies. It's kind of that grading of the color that caught my eye. I kind of like it, but I am spending $150 on naked people lamps. There's a pretty pink vase. $109 on that one. and I love it, but I can't. I can't do it. It's quite soft. Is there a tag on that? Who makes it? San Marco. What in the world is this contraption? Hand-painted Costa Rica ox cart. Bar cart disassembles to transport. I love the colors on that. I wonder if you can make this into like a side table. It'd somehow need to have legs. That would make a really neat coffee table or end table. You just added legs to it. It's not for me though. I don't have the time to do stuff like that. This looks like Phoenician glass. $79.95, wow. This is Lord Nelson, a stackable tea set. For $79.95. I am going to start wheeling up towards the front. As usual, I'm not going to be able to finish them all today. But I really want to get into those cases before they close. So that's what we're going to do next. So I think I'm going to grab this, definitely getting this, do you okay. want me to hand it? Okay. Yeah, I'm heading up towards the car. Ooh, there we go. This is signed. Look at that. I think the price is on the stand though. The stand break goes with it then. Okay. I would think the way you did that. Was yeah. Cool. All right. Um, so I'll okay. take that and then this one. Yeah, go right ahead. That one's 40. Yeah, I absolutely love this one, but it's damaged. Really bad. All right, I think I'll pass on it. I think that's the second time I've right. looked at it and I'm like, oh, it's damaged. 50 bucks. I don't, oh yeah, there's a signature and I'm not gonna be able to figure that one out. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that for 50. Right. 2017. You wanna look at it first? No, I'm good. Yeah, I'll bring it up to the front. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.